<sighs> well, guys, um, I am on the fence here. I am debating on the situation that uh, am I really am I going to react to Jesse and Emily's videos? Now, the reason why I say that is... Explain to us the story with... Let's see. So, yeah. But is it... I got... There's a video... And I said, hey, what is... Okay, now, here, there's a point in this video, guys. Look, I want... To, I've been watching this over and over again. I try to figure out what the hell is going on. And... Um, it, it's pretty... And I think it's pretty obvious. And also, guys, you guys did see the... Uh, three-page letter about uh, what he wrote to Swift, and now he's saying that he's not talking to him anymore. Um, I'm on the fence here, guys, but I want you to take a listen. You didn't walk there again. You told me to stop literally taking my fucking medication. You were is that true? Mick Juggernuggets, is that true? Did, did you tell him to stop, or excuse me, her, to stop taking her um, medication to, to do the conversation about the, the real root issues of like what she's going through mentally. And I wanted to understand it. And we had long hour long talks while she was living in the house. And I said, Hey, what if you just did it? Started weaning off the estrogen because my biggest concern for Swift as somebody who has been suicidal in the past has made every remark about killing himself back in the back in the day. I was concerned because the suicide rates of the LGBT and most transgenders over half end up suicide at some point down into the future. And you want to know why? It's because they're around non fucking supportive people. Those. Okay, see right there, guys. Now I gotta say. You know, real friends would not do this, guys. Real friends wouldn't do that. They wouldn't leak, you know, um, stuff that happens behind closed doors on live podcasts where everyone, the fans, are hearing this. So, I now... To me, right there, yeah, right there. He said that he he was taking these me this medication, you know, from the trans transition into a woman. But he said to, that that's basically what it is, I guess. But actually, you know what? I'm on my laptop, so let's take a look. Let's see. Okay, estrogen is a hormone that plays various roles. It helps develop and maintain both uh, reproductive systems, such as that, such as the chest, and everything else. So, um, now the real question is, why... Now, now, like I said before, now you just heard right there that he asked Jesse. He asked Jesse, "Why would you tell her to stop taking those pills?" And uh, now, functioning level. Uh, let's see, level of levels of it. Yeah, okay. Now let's see if there's any danger side effects. Bloating. Okay, that's not. That's not. That, that's not the too bad. All right, the doctor. Yeah, this is actually helps transition you to be a female. That's what it is. Let's see. These can make, increase the risks of heart attack, stroke, blood clots, headaches, irregular bleeding, weight changes. Okay. Now, now let's let's get to the other part of the problem. Now, I wrote the name of the pill. Now, the danger. Dangers of this. Let's see. Let's take a look. You know, the thing about internet, guys, it has a lot of information that actually helps. The problem is not that it elevates. That the testosterone will be correct. Everything will be okay. No need to worry. Let's see the L factors. Hot, it says high saturated fat diets. Oh, no, that's that, that's nothing. Why is it dangerous? Itself does not cause gastromastia. Okay. God is incorrect. It may cause an increase. Okay. That's true. Many people suffer from that. They have low low test levels due to it. Let's see. Dangerous risks include 
It doubles your stroke risk. Wow. Now that I did not know. Decreases cardio va cardiovascular health. and Increase the risk of rheumatoid arthritis. Hopefully I said that right. Low diets for better tests or ratios. Being fat. Okay. The benefits of that. Okay, yeah. Using an amateur's input here. Okay, so basically... Think about this, guys. I, I got to say, a doctor would not give you medicine for a high risk at a high risk of you hurting yourself. That's that's the, that's the reality. But uh, like I said, Jesse brought up the idea that uh, this brought up the idea, which is a fact that, yes, people from the LG, LGBTQ Actually, their suicidal rate has been high because you know when kids kids have the when kids feel like they're not who they're born to be, they do tend to do that. But what Swift said is actually she's actually made a good point because they're, they're not surrounded by not not around su supportive people. So basically, what she actually stated is that Jesse did didn't really support her at all. Now, like I said, guys, I've watched this over and over again. And is it really hard? Is it really hard to call someone by their name? People, we have names, guys. I'm Raymond. That was, that, we know Swift's Emily. We know that's Jesse Ridgeway. There's, there's Ashley May. That's easy. But for them to say, but, but, uh, there was a part right there when, at, when they talked to Ashley about a situation but he said he was dude swift. But she but here's the thing, she actually came out as a transgender. She actually said that. So basically, if you come out and tell them that you're a female that you're, you're, that I'm really I'm I'm going to be a female, I'm transitioning to be a female, I'm transgender, then you're you just said you're a girl cuz think about this, a lot of people say things that that say that oh, I'm I'm this, I'm actually I am I'm being a man or I'm going to be a woman. Just because they don't look like it doesn't mean that they're lying about it. When she asked, like yeah on the, in there she's asked Swift asked Ashley about what kind of t tank top does she wear and she I guess she took it the wrong way and also Jesse took it the wrong way because yeah that's his girlfriend but he felt like he was hitting on her. That she was hitting on her, but that's not the case. If you, here's the thing: if you guys are really friends, you guys would know. You guys should know that you that you would not do that to friends. Come on, it's common sense. They took this way too far. Now for the boxing match, I hope it does happen because you know why it's going to happen. Because think about this: now that Emily is now a female. I think this is a trick. You want to know how it's a trick? Because Jesse is willing to fight a woman, which which is wrong. It's wrong to hit a girl. And what's funny is Ashley says you can't do that. You can't you can't have a man fight a woman. Well, Jesse is willing to do it, and Swift, well, Swift, she's willing to fight. So if these two fight, yeah. But what's funny is. When she's she's raring to go, she wants to get rid of all this tension. Also, Jesse says there's a lot in me that I want to get out, a lot of anger that I want to get out. And I'm like, what anger are you talking about? The thing about this, guys, I I, w I would like to ask Jesse, are you confusing anger for sadness? Because guys. Now, when she wrote, when he said, I don't trust you, I don't trust Emily. Now, the real question is, did he, I know, he, I know he trusts Jeff Saxton back then. But now that we have a new, now that Jeff doesn't exist anymore, is now Emily Saxton. Now, he doesn't trust her. Now, if he doesn't trust her, he doesn't know her. Now, I, I, I know what you guys are saying. He, he doesn't know her? Yeah, he does. Yes, Jesse does. But, does he know how she feels? That's the point. 
you know, when people transition to that, you need to fully understand it. I, to me, guys, what I heard from Jesse, I think he doesn't fully understand. He's, he's saying he's trying to understand, but trying and try, trying is a really different word. It's different when you say, okay, I understand it, but I'm trying to understand it. But when you're trying to, that means you're on the fence on do I want to understand or do I do I want to understand or do I not want to understand? That's the question. Now, for him to say, for, like I said on those pills, yeah, he said that he wanted to stop him with the suicidal thing. Obviously, yes. But when Swift said, well, because they, they do that because they're surrounded by non-supportive people. And, you know, Keemstar actually stated to him that, you see how... You see how I stood, when he was talking to Jesse, you see how I stand up to my friend that's sitting by me? Yeah, maybe that's what Emily needed from you. That's a fact. I think that's the fact right there. Yeah, it's a joke. But sometimes jokes, I find it funny that they, they, they started arguing over a joke that Jesse said. And Jesse didn't like the fact that he said, it wasn't that, I wasn't even in, in front of the camera. I was in the back seats. Well, that's the problem. That's the thing. If we can hear your voice, that means you're there in that video. That's he actually stated that in all of his videos. That's the, that. Remember the in the cycle behind the scenes. Well, there was a behind the scenes where um, when when he was Isaac and he was doing his uh, Q and A. You can actually hear Psycho Dad uh, and his hear Psycho Dad his and his mom and all and. I think if I remember, I think uh, Aunt Melissa and and jo and Uncle George was there too. Hopefully, I said that. Hopefully, I got his name right. <laughs> anyway, um, you could hear them. And I think if I remember correctly, he actually said, "Hey, they may not be on camera, but you can still hear their voices. You know that's them." So that's on the fence right there. But guys, okay, where are my manners? I'm on the fence because I don't know if I want to react to McJuggernuggets or Emily's videos anymore. I'm on the fence because, guys, I look up to them. Everyone, Guys, I'm talking to you who's watching my videos. I looked up to them. I looked up to Jesse because he gave me the confidence to keep going and not give up. Swift, be who you are, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise, or don't let anybody tell you that tell you to change. Only you can change yourself. I, I support them both, but these are these arguments are getting out of control, and I I hate seeing friends fight. That's what I hate the most. Because the thing is, if I over a joke, but then it escalates, and then you bring up stuff that's behind, that, like behind closed doors that are private, and you decide to just you, they just threw things at each other that it was irrelevant to the what 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 really caused the argument. Yeah, Jesse made a joke, and. And he didn't like, and she didn't like it. <sighs> so, guys, I'm on the fence here. I I don't know if I want to react to Jesse's videos or Emily's videos anymore. But um, I support them both. These guys gave these guys gave me great advice, and watching their videos, I feel like they're talking to us. On how you handle life, and no, also saying that yeah, your friends will always be there to support you. But sometimes I think what we just saw right there on Twitter that sometimes friends are not there to support each other at all. There are times when friends don't support you. So I'm on the fence, guys. So despite that. 
Yeah, I'm in the middle of a fence where I'm sitting on a fence. One side's Jesse and one side's Emily. I forgot to do both videos. Come on. I also did Uncle Larry's. I did Big Brothers. I did Nick's. Also Dom, obviously. I don't want to forget him. I see those guys. I see every one of them. You guys had fun. The memories that you gave us over the years. It shows that you guys were there for each other no matter what was going to come your way. And now this just came in the way. This is like a big-ass boulder that just came right there. And both of you are just like, I think you guys are just pushing it back and forth on each other. I think the I think what you guys should be doing is apologize and both of you working together to push that rock away. Working together. So guys, I'm on the fence here. So I hope you guys understand. I just well seeing that three page letter that he wrote and saying that he doesn't want to talk to Emily anymore. Well, I guess that's th that's I guess that's Fidito right there. Now the real question is, how long will it take for these guys to actually upload a video and do something about it? Because guys, he was supposed to get a cameraman, and despite that, Jesse hurt his leg, tore a ligament, I guess. It's gonna be a long time until he's able to do something. And I doubt we're going to have a new cameraman now. So, that being said, that's this. This is my choice. I'm I I have I'm on the fence here. I don't know if I want to do it or not. React to both of them. React to each. Of, if either of them do a video, I would react to it. Uh, yeah. I want you guys to be. I want you guys to be. I want to be clear. Sometimes when I react to videos i react to videos that are relevant you know when they hang out with family that's good it's on it's on their time i mean that's a good thing that's why i don't re react to that even when emily was with his family with her family it that was different too also seeing them having fun over there yeah obviously um but that but what's going on now Usually, you know what? I actually thought these. I thought these. These videos were. It's just that. It's just. I support them, but I'm just disappointed in them. So, hope you guys understand. I'm on the fence here. I don't know if I want to do this or not, or stop. But it's my choice. Well, guys, hope you guys understand.